now watching West Harper Community Sorry. Television. You're watching West Harper Community Television. You're watching West Harper Community Television. For the community, by the community. Ladies, I am super excited. We are on the road to destiny. We are navigating life's transitions at the fifth annual Total Woman Conference on Saturday, April 20th, 2013 at the West Hartford Town Hall Auditorium in West Hartford, Connecticut. Don't you touch that remote. We'll be right back. Get ready to find hope. Get ready to be inspired. Get ready to discover your full potential. Get ready for total success from the Total Success Coach, Princess Bola Adelani. This is Princess Bola Adelani, the Total Success Coach, welcoming you to Inspired Success, your monthly dose of inspiration power, the program that equips you with the power and inspiration for total success. That is success at work and in life. Oh, like I told you in my opening, I am super, super, super excited about the fifth annual Total Woman Conference. Can you believe it? It's been five years already, five years. And this year's theme is just totally, totally, totally a word in season. Because everybody, everybody is going through some form of transition or the other. Whether it's personal, professional, or spiritual. You know that. And so this fifth annual Total Woman Conference is about helping you navigate your transitional season with power, with courage, with passion, and with purpose. And it is designed also to set you on the path of your destiny. I'm super excited because I also have in the studio with me some amazing women. You know by now that Princess Bola always brings only the brightest and the best. You know that, of course. They're ooh, dynamic women, amazing women, colleagues of mine, and we're just going to be talking today about the whole concept of women, the challenges we face, and our next frontiers as, as women. And so it gives me great pleasure to welcome to Inspire Success. She's no stranger to Inspire Success. She's no stranger to the Total Woman Conference. She's, she's an amazing woman. She's a dear friend of mine, a colleague and a friend. And you know, I love her to life. <laughs> so it's really nice having you in the studio. Jill Beckwith is also a colleague of mine. She's a coach, an executive coach, and um, a, a published author too. Many, several, several publications and all that. And so welcome, Jill, to Inspire Success. Thanks, my pleasure. Lastly, but definitely, uh, not, definitely not least, is Ayana Crawford. Ayana Crawford um, is a previous attendee of the Total Woman Conference and a 2013 Action Woman Honoree. Oh, <laughs> amen. She's doing great things. You're going to hear, you know, more from Ayana. So welcome to Inspired Success, Ayana. Thank you. I'm glad to be here. Yeah, it's a great honor. Thank you so much. We're going to dive into this conversation mm -hmm. right away because we don't have too much time. And so the theme of this year's mm -hmm. conference is the road to destiny mm -hmm. and then navig and navigating life's mm -hmm. transitions. But you know, a couple mm -hmm. of people have asked me, you know, the road to destiny, destiny. Let's talk about all that concept of destiny because it's a word some are familiar with, others that are mm -hmm. not. And it means different things to different people, right? Mm -hmm. And so, you know, Kathy, what, what, what say you? Mm -hmm. What do you understand by um, the theme of the conference and by the mm -hmm. word destiny? Mm -hmm. 
Well, it's a word that I really have been exploring and re-examining of late because uh, my general nature as a motivator and a woman of action <laughs> is just to make things happen. Yes. But what I'm finding is that if I can get so stuck on setting myself on one course, even yes. if there's resistance, yes. that I may be missing my destiny. Okay. So I'm at the place right now where I'm unsure what my destiny is, okay. and I just need to let go and have the faith that it will be, I will be guided okay. in the right way. And, and so what I'm hearing you say is that destiny is kind of a preordained um, location or destination that has somehow been divinely preordained for you that you need to seek out? Or is it somewhere that you decide, I want to go? Uh, I almost would be comforted by the first definition, <laughs> but I think we do have personal responsibility and we do have choice. So there are many roads that we could take and our actions and decisions mm -hmm. determine our experience. Mm -hmm. uh, but I think that there is a calling and there is a purpose, uh, a design for our life. And we may not, I may not, this is my latest discovery, I may not be truly in charge of it. Mm -hmm. I am responsible for it. Um, but right now, I, I'm, I'm actually in the place where I'm, I'm re-examining what is my destiny, where do I need to go, uh, because the fighting and the, the controlling aspect of it um, right now is creating friction I in get my it. life. Okay. Actually, one of the panelists is going to talk about the power of surrender. Surrender. Letting go my new theme. And letting God. <laughs> that's it. You know, that's okay. going to be one of the, 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 the topics, conversations at the conference. So I, I hear you. Okay. I know where you're going with that. But um, Jill, but what say you? Because I have a kind of a different kind of take on that. But um, mm -hmm. you know, how would you define destiny, and how does the the entire theme of the conference speak to you? Um, well, it speaks to me really strongly because destiny and the whole concept of that, and the concept of following a path or a purpose, is very, mm -hmm. as you know, central to a lot of the work that I do. Yes, um, I know. I work with a lot of women and men on finding their their right path. I call yes. it. Yes. So to me, destiny is your right path, but it's more than that, and I think you speak to a little bit of that in what you said, Kathy. To me, destiny is that we are born with sort of a blueprint, mm -hmm. uh, uh, that mm -hmm. you have a certain mm -hmm. DNA and Eggs. a certain Ooh. blueprint, Eggs. and yes. that yes. Um, not yes. everybody knows it. Yes. Um, so a lot of people are out there searching and trying to figure it out, and we come yes. into life's events, and it twists and turns. Mm. And one way or another, and I'm, I'm with Kathy, and I think I'm in a few of these camps, I believe it's yes. a blend. Yes. I don't think it's a preordained, like it's going to always end up in one way. It's how you utilize your, your, your talents and your gifts and your unique thumbprint and purpose. Um, but there is a blueprint. The, absolutely. And, I agree with you on but that. We, but we do, have, um, we do have a say, and every choice you make um, will shape your destiny. Absolutely. We have a responsibility. I think our responsibility oh. is to discover it. Mm -hmm. I do too. And to mm -hmm. intentionally pursue it mm -hmm. and, you know, create the strategies, acquire the knowledge, Absolutely. build the community, and, and, and then, you know, obviously then hopefully reach it, yes. you know. But I think it is about design. Mm -hmm. It is about, you know, as in, in the way that it is preordained is the same way that I look at myself is I, I came to this planet mm -hmm. with mm -hmm. special DNA mm -hmm. that yes. I had no yeah. control over. Yeah. And the way I'm wired yeah. intrinsic, intrinsically, mm -hmm. you know, my personality, my passions mm -hmm. and all of that, I don't really kind of have a control over it, mm -hmm. you know, in that sense. <laughs> right. And so, and all of them are pointers. They are the yeah. pointers, Thank the you. blue blueprint that pointed me towards what really I'm here on the planet to fulfill, you know. And um, the, the, the responsibility is for us to now discover it and find it yeah. and then pursue it mm -hmm. intentionally. Mm -hmm. And so that, that's my, 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 my take on that. And I think it's a little bit complex, mm -hmm. like you said, Kathy, you know, saying, you know, you're still at the point where you're trying to find it out because there's so many, um, apart from even how you are personally designed, circumstances also come to speak to us they to do. kind of point mm -hmm. us there. And so sometimes there's so many twists and turns that you're a little bit confused and you're trying to figure out and say, you know, which way, what is this saying to me? Right, the meaning. And that is the whole point of this fifth annual Total <laughs> Woman Conference because now we're going to help you to make sense of 
all these um, navigations, all these, you know, twists and turns, hopefully, and then give you the tools that you need to really take it to where you really want to go. So you don't want to miss this conference, TotalWomanConference.com. And so Ayana, Ayana, I always thought, I'm sorry about that, Ayana, it's Ayana, right? Yes, yes. Okay, so you tell me what destiny and this whole theme of the road to destiny because it's a journey and mm -hmm. it's a process. You know, how does it speak to you? Right, so I, I live my, my life by quotes. Yeah. And so Gandhi uh, had a quote, he said, you ought to be the change you want to see in the world. Okay. And so for me, I see lots of things that I want to do lots of dreams that I have in my mind. And so in order for me to really exercise my passions, I have to see where I fit on the things that I want to see changed. Yeah, the things and you change. Exactly. And, that, and that's one, the way someone, um, you know, I don't know who it was, defined it. He, he was on mm. Oprah's life class. I think mm. it was Bishop Jakes was saying is that, the, the, the problems you see mm. that you're passionate about, yes. that you want to bring solutions to, mm -hmm. are the things that you're really designed to bring solution to those problems. Mm -hmm. yes. But so I kind of mm -hmm. get understand that. So, you know, you got it. You know, there are different aspects in terms of looking at it. But um, ultimately, I feel like it's about discovering why you're put on this planet, mm -hmm. why you like certain things, mm -hmm. why you think the way you think, mm -hmm. why you dream the way mm -hmm. you dream, why you like certain mm -hmm. things. And really using all those things, your experiences, your skill set, your training, mm -hmm. you know, and using that and leveraging that, you know, to further the common good, you know, mm -hmm. and make a difference on this planet. So, you know, we've looked at that, um, at destiny from that perspective. And, um, you know, I'm sure you can join the conversation if you, the viewer, have a different uh, perspective or just want to share Go to Facebook.com, you know, the Inspired Success page, and just join the conversation, join the conversation. And so I'm going to then go and really kind of direct some one or two things with you. We're talking transitions, yes. you know, and I, I do know that's kind of one of your expertise in your coaching practice. You have many, but that's one of um, your expertise mm -hmm. and specialties. You work with, you know, women in transition or individuals in transitions, mm -hmm. yes. you know. And so... Um, talk to me about the power of transitions. When people are in a transitional season or in a transitional right. place, I often see fear, yes. you know, I often see a lot of resistance, like mm -hmm. you said, mm -hmm. you know, and all of that. But with I have discovered from my own personal experience and going through different kind of transitions in the past and currently going through a kind of a, a transition, mm -hmm. that there is mm -hmm. power in transition. Mm -hmm. And um, so you talk to me about that, Jill. There is power in transition, and you know, basically, uh, people are seeking me out a lot of times in transition. So I see yes. volumes of people in transition, like you said. Yes. And they're under distress often before they yes. see me because usually it takes uh, distress for people to make a change. Yes. You know, we, we can get very complacent before making change. So before a real transition, you often find people have to hit some kind of a wall, uh, unfortunately. And especially in the economy we have right now, yes. um, the, the turbulence that's out there right now, exactly. it's, it's easier to stay safe and it's easier to be complacent because yes. it's kind of a scary place to think of yourself in a chosen transition versus one that's thrust on you. Um, so it is a very fearful place for people. Yes, Yet is. I tell people, you know, change is messy. It just kind of is. It's just what the process mm -hmm. is for people. Mm -hmm. But like you said, if people can see their way through, the right way with support often or with the right tools, strategies, and, and um, you know, things at their fingertips, support is really important. Yes. Um, there's, there's ways to do that in a proper way that mitigate some of the fears. Yes, and, absolutely. Yeah. And, 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 mm -hmm. and just adding to that is, you know, I look at it as a, 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 a new opportunity. It is a new opportunity. Mm -hmm. you can it's look an at opportunity it. to reinvent yourself, mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. start over. Right. And newness right. yes. to me is always great. Mm -hmm. You yes. know, we 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 um, are over mm -hmm. um, new clothes and mm -hmm. new relationships and yeah. a new this and a new that and all that. Because newness gives you the opportunity of starting over, mm -hmm. of learning from your yeah. mistakes and mm -hmm. all of that. And if you get more than one opportunity in this lifetime yeah. to start over and learn yeah. and write mm -hmm. a letter to your mm -hmm. younger self and and um, build on your experience, I right. think that's huge. So yeah. look at yeah. that transition as the opportunity to begin over, you know, and to start yeah. over. 
And then, then you're saying that um, you often say that you know you need to transition with a mission or with purpose to make mm -hmm. it meaningful. How do people do that? Um, well, basically, uh, to kind of continue on our conversation around uh, destiny and purpose. Yes. Um, I do believe that everybody is you know, here with a certain blueprint, if you will, a certain DNA that you talked about. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, I, I take people through a process that has them look through their life story. And like yes. you said, learning from your past is really critical to the process. Yes. And so it goes beyond doing inventories of your skills and your talents. Those are all important. Yes. Um, there's a there's a, a less tangible aspect of looking at your your purpose and your direction, and that is more to do with who you want to be, your identity, how yes. you want to show up in the world, yes. how you want to impact people. And to me, I just want to level set. For me, purpose is not always about um, Mother Teresa or Gandhi or or um, large affect the world uh, common, yes, purposes, yes, right? Yes. I mean, mm -hmm. so but somebody could live their life by certain values or show up as a role model to their children or just live with joy, and that's their purpose. Yes, you and know? I want to mm -hmm. I, I emphasize mm -hmm. something you just said, and I want you viewer to listen to this. This is a quote of mine. <laughs> identity before destiny. Mm. Yes. There is a huge identity crisis right. that mm. is facing our culture facing many of us right. because people are trying to define us for who we are as women. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We, you know, mm -hmm. we're talking about that just uh, before the show. I mean, it's like, okay, who am I really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, and so we've been programmed, we have been boxed and said, you know, as a woman, you're this. And then you may f begin to discover mm -hmm. that authentically within me, I don't fit that, right. you know, and so, there's a lot of confusion. It's an identity crisis yes. mm -hmm. that a lot of individuals are going through. And part of the goal of this conference in terms of self-discovery, mm -hmm. you know, discovering your destiny is first of all even discovering your identity. Who am I? Right. Mm -hmm. You know, who am I really and truly authentically? What are my values? Mm -hmm. What are my core beliefs? You know, and um, yeah, I think that's a very important thing that you touched on. And so you don't want to miss this date with destiny. You do not want to miss it. <laughs> it is a Saturday. date with destiny. Yeah, exactly. That is conference name. <laughs> <laughs> it is a date with destiny. You don't want to miss it. Saturday, April 20th at the West Hartford Town Hall Auditorium in West Hartford, Connecticut, totalwomanconference.com. Totally, totally life-changing. And, and I'm super excited because I'm so passionate about this subject. You know, I feel like many people, there's just this innate cry mm -hmm. where they're uh, crying out. Hung, exactly. Mm -hmm. There's an hunger for mm -hmm. where most people are, you know, getting, you know, dissatisfied with mm -hmm. the status quo. And they feel stuck at this crossroads, you know, of confusion and really don't know where to go forward, whether to turn right or left. And so this conference is designed with you in mind. TotalWomanConference.com. You were going to say something, Yeah, Ayana. I just wanted to add, you know, um, I've listened to Les Brown, and he talks yes. about just what you're saying, yes. the greatness within you. Yes. That we have to move out. We have to, you know, get rid of the obstacles, get rid of the barriers, and yes. just move out on what it is that you want to do and know that God is going to lead you through that journey. Yes, yes. And not to be fearful and not to be afraid because no matter what happens, you tried. You did something exactly. different than what you were doing before. Yes, the comfort mm -hmm. trap and mm -hmm. breaking the fear. Mm -hmm. And so, Kathy, mm -hmm. now let, let, let me bring you in there, being our networking mm -hmm. expert. Pass that book, oh my, my favorite <laughs> book. Of course, because I endorsed it, all right? <laughs> <laughs> and you know, you know, right? You do know that, right? That it's always the brightest and the best. It's an amazing book. Mm -hmm. And Kathy, of course, is going to be at the... Total Woman Conference, the Feet and All Total Woman Conference. Mm -hmm. She's just a joy to always have yes. and um, a huge supporter and champion of the um, TWC programs. Mm -hmm. And just anything inspires success and Princess Bola, which I love and appreciate, by the way. So you're a published author and, um, you know, networking expert. That's one of your specialties. You have many, you know, communications, mm -hmm. executive presentation skills is another specialty. You have many. But um, this is one of yours. Mm -hmm. And so in terms of journeying to destiny mm -hmm. and looking at how women, um, historically, we've moved mm -hmm. from different kind of movements, mm -hmm. movements, mm -hmm. and, um, you know, mm -hmm. and we're now in this place where I don't know whether we are anti-movements or what have you. But what is the importance of building community? Mm -hmm. 
building community because I, I, I started resisting the term mm -hmm. solopreneur. Because solo, solo. Mm. you know, there's this, all this solo thing. You cannot survive. You can't thrive solo. You can't. The way it's designed is that we're all connected. And you're talking about right. building right. Um, you, between right. you and Jill. Feeling jealous, by the way. They just, I just heard about that one. Building, <laughs> building a, your, your small community yeah. referral source. Yeah. You know, you are involved in a networking group, you know, that I'm considering joining. You and I meet now and again as strategic mm -hmm. partners. You were plugged into the Total Woman yes. Conference after last year. You, you are on the board now as a VP of programs, mm -hmm. you know. And so what is the importance? Mm -hmm. What is the value? In terms of women, speak to them out there and tell right. them right. what right. that value so is. So the importance of building community, yes. I think, is anchored on the the reality is that you can't get there by yourself. Mm -hmm. yes. And that you don't need to go it alone. Mm -hmm. It's a lonely road. Solopreneur, yes. I hadn't appreciated that, <laughs> um, but uh, loneliness is the death knell of entrepreneurship. Absolutely. So, so there is a choice that we have to make, whether we're going to stay insular and we're just going to Fight it out ourselves, or yes. we're gonna we're gonna align, and we're gonna mm -hmm. gather, and we're going to work together. Yes. I think women are naturally inclined to network, to connect, mm -hmm. to share, to relate. Um, but I think it is changing, yeah. as we were talking earlier yes. before the show, that you know, there, once there was this huge movement, and you were either in the suffragette movement, or you were in the feminist movement, or you weren't. Yes. It was one enormous thing. Yes. But I think now we're at a place where there's smaller circles, yes. and there are many more, and you can belong to several. Absolutely. So your alliance, it's not a, you know, it's not exclusive. Um, it is, it is an invitation for you to collaborate and to connect with different men and women mm -hmm. who share common values and causes and thereby you getting support you being able to share your talent you uh, seeing what your potential is by volunteering by leading by connecting absolutely so a, a community, community I think that's huge mm -hmm. and you heard it and that is one thing you are going to get to be able to build at the fifth and all total woman conference on April 20th mm -hmm. because you know you come and plug into a community of like minded women mm -hmm. you know so if you're a working woman a professional woman a business woman mm -hmm. especially an entrepreneur that is the place you want to be because you're going to be in the midst of other yes. kind of you know women and you'll be inspired by their stories and the first yeah. the first total woman conference that i went to which was your your debut yes. i went i was in the middle of finishing the manuscript i had the last chapter so going to the total woman conference actually changed the way i ended the book <laughs> and i'll yeah. never forget that i ran into one woman uh, what what your conference does that other conferences don't have is just an incredible diversity, uh, mm -hmm. spiritual aspect, just yes. the unexpected. So I remember having a conversation with a Muslim woman yes. who came with, with the God. burqa. Yes. I could only see yes. her eyes. And of course, you know, that's a different world. And I, I had my preconceived notions, but she and I connected. We spoke, we networked. I got to appreciate, she taught me something. And I will, I, I am forever changed, yes. you know, because of that experience. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It is, it is holistic. That's why it's the total woman. Mm -hmm. It's for the whole woman. And that's why how I began it, because I'm a total woman, you know. I'm not just a just business, a business woman. woman. No, no, no. Family I'm woman. I'm a faith woman. That's an important part of my life. I'm a business woman, you know. I'm a family woman. I'm a wife. I'm a sister. Mm -hmm. So there's so many different mm -hmm. aspects of who I am. And, you know, going to a conference, you know, I'm finding it's only hyper-focused on my health, mm -hmm. hyper-focused on my business, you know. I just got dissatisfied. I wanted a one-stop shop where I could go and you could speak mm -hmm. to all areas of my life and I could connect you know, on a whole another level, whole mm -hmm. level, you know. And and that's what the unique thing is about the Total Women Conference. We have three more minutes, believe it or not. Well, Already we time flies when you're yes. having fun. And there's so much more. We are running out of time, but definitely not out of words. <laughs> words are available for you. Full day conference, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. 
dynamic speakers. There's an awards component, mm -hmm. and um, Ayana is a um, 2013 Action Woman honoree, the only one in her category. And then we have the <laughs> Women of Distinction, you know, some amazing women. Connecticut Secretary of State, um, Denise Merrill, is going to be mm -hmm. present. Mm -hmm. You know, um, you nominated um, Tracy Scala. Tracy Scala. And, um, you know, a dynamic speakers, um, the, um, one of the keynotes, um, oh my good, award-winning entrepreneur, broken every sales, um, 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 uh, what's the word, limits that you can imagine, the million dollar. Mm -hmm. She's this tiny little Jewish girl, <laughs> you know. And so just amazing, amazing opportunities. Of course, there's mm -hmm. the whole self-care, massage therapy, mm -hmm. spa treatments, the uh, facilitated networking. speed networking piece that we add to it, the total woman image, makeover. It's just one full day of fun, inspiration, networking, laughter, mm -hmm. and you will be so, 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 so transformed. Saturday, April 20th, West Hartford Town Hall Auditorium, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. in West Hartford, Connecticut, TotalWomanConference.com. So you tell us as we close, um, Ayana, tell the <laughs> viewers how it so impacted you and how you took all that information, mm -hmm. the inspiration, the connections, you plugged into the organization right away, and then now you're doing your thing <laughs> in the Springfield area. You know, she's following after the footsteps of Princess Bola. She has her own TV show, uh, radio, and, um, you know, she's just doing amazing things. Tell me how it impacted you and changed your life forever. I mean, I've always been a thinker. Right. Yes. So everything has been in my head, yes. you know, never action oriented, yes. you know, just a thinker. Oh, I could do this. I could do that. And so when I went to the conference, not only did I get impacted in terms of who I am as a woman, yes. but you made me feel personally that yes. you were talking to me, that it's time to refresh to regroup, yes. to equip yourselves with the knowledge that you need to move out on your passions and your yes. dreams. Yes. And when you said that to me at the conference, again, I thought you were talking directly <laughs> to me, and I did that. I yes. did just what you said. I followed the steps. I you know, went online, went to your website, plugged myself into all of your um, your one-on-ones and your, your YouTube uh, 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 videos about yes. how you go through those steps, yes. the processes that happen and was so inspired that everything that I took in from what I heard from you just helped me to actualize and launch what I wanted Absolutely. to do. And so I'm so thrilled and so excited yes. to know that, yes, I think I brought the Total Woman <laughs> Conference to Springfield, and I'm little Princess Bola in Springfield. <laughs> awesome, 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 awesome. We run out of time. And that's what it is, because when you see people doing it, you know, you think that, oh, I can do it too. Mm -hmm. You know, there are different ways we can teach people. You, yes. can, you can teach them the best ways to model it yes. to them. Yes. And so by the time, because I'm doing it mm -hmm. and I'm living it, right. you know, it then gives you permission to think, I can do that too. Yes, I true. can do that too. Yes. And you can too. That's and right. you can go to TotalWomanConference.com on That's April right. and, and register and, and be there on April 20th and, and just plug into the community, the network, the inspiration. Yeah. And all the, you know, uh, fun things that we just have lined up. I will, I'm personally looking forward to seeing you there. When you get there, come and introduce you my, yourself as one of my viewers. I thank you so much you for being on the thank show. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Amazing. And I just wanted to say really one quick yes. thing. Um, today I was styled yes. by uh, Beauté Within in Springfield, Massachusetts. I just want to give a shout out to okay. Vanessa Hall and Shauna Edmonds for really helping me with my look for today. Okay, thank you, thank you, good ladies, women thank you. Women. And hopefully, exactly, hopefully we'll also see you at the Total Woman Conference. Thank you so much, it's been thank fun, you. you know, and greater yes. fun awaits you. This is Princess Bola Adelani, the Total Success Coach, reminding you to keep smiling, you know, life's too short. That's Come on, right. put a smile on your face. <laughs> keep believing, mm. keep networking, keep learning, and keep on keeping on, you're on the winning side. I really look forward to seeing you next month and um, I see you at the Total Woman Conference also. Thank you for watching. God bless. You.